Hello everyone. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about your origin and classification of rice. As you know, this rice is one important crop. Suppose you have started B.Sc. Agriculture, means first it will be taught, and in different competitive exams, two to three questions are coming from this origin and classification. So without wasting time, we will discuss now. First, coming to your origin, you see rice is one of the oldest cultivated crop in China and India. Cultivated species of rice, that is your Oryza sativa, is thought to have originated from your South and South East Tropical Asia. South East Asia, you remember, okay? And sometimes in the option India and Burma will be there, or Indo-Burma region may be written, okay? So any of the answer will be correct. Other species of rice are your Oryza glaberima and Oryza perennis. Okay, but in this Oryza uh, Oryza sativa, okay, the chromosomal number is here for 20 equal to 24, which corresponds to that many of the wild species of Oryza also. Some of the wild species are there. These are diploid and these will be tetraploid. Okay, here what will happen? 20 equal to 48. Rice has been cultivated for thousands of years under widely dif uh, uh, different uh, geographic and agroclimatic regions. Okay, and during this long period, so many varieties have been evolved. Next, you see origin we have completed. Now, coming to your classification, rice belongs to the family Graminae or Poaceae. Okay, family and subfamily is your uh, Panicoidae, and order is your Poels. Okay, there are 24 valid species of oryza this question may come in the exam okay 24 valid species are there out of that 22 are wild one and two are your what cultivated species so in the exam what may come how many species are there how many are wild and how many are cultivated species what are those two cultivated species one is your sativa another one is your glaberima sativa grown in asia europe america okay uh, this uh, japan Indonesia there this are grown and this glaberima grown in where your Africa it is grown. Next you see here only story point rice has been cultivated for thousand years okay so many varieties developed okay species evolved and the world can be broadly divided into three subspecies okay Indica, Japonica and Javanica. Here you can see Okay, Oryza, Oryza sativa, Oryza glabarima, sativa divided into Indica, Japonica and Javanica and Oryza glabarima from your Africa. Okay, next you see Oryza sativa deployed to n equal 24, it has three main uh, geographical races, Indica, Japonica, Javanica or Balurais. So what is Indica you see, grown throughout the tropics and subtropics in India and these are characterized by your tall stature, tall plant will be there. Weak stem, elongated grain, droopy leaves, low productivity and irresponsive to high input condition. If you give more fertilizer also, they are not that much responding. Next is Japonica, grown in temperate and subtropical region of Japan. Okay, here short stature will be there, sturdy stem, narrow erect and dark green leaves, responsive to intensive input condition. If you are applying some more, definitely the uh, return will be more. Having highest productivity, the Japonica is having the highest productivity. This question may come. Among these three uh, Oryza sativa species, which one is having your highest productivity? That is your Japonica. Green shape are oval to round in shape. Next one is your Javanica balu rice, grown in Indonesia. Important, very, very important. Few tillers, wild form of rice, has many ons in long duration crop period. You see how the question may come. Which uh, 
सटाइप अफ भेर हेव टल स्ट्रेचर इंडिका सो स्ट्रेचर दैट इज योर जापानिका विच इज हेविंग मोर प्रोडक्टिविटी जापानिका विच इज ग्रोन इन इंडोनेसिया जाभानिका विच इज हेविंग मोर लंग क्रप ड्यूरेसन एगेन जाभानिका बालू राइस इज अल्सो नोन एज जाभानिका जाभानिका इज अल्सो नोन एज बालू राइस एनी कैंड अफ थिंग्स मे कम इन द एक्जाम ओके ना यू सी दिस इज अल्सो इम्पोर्टेंट और आइज अक लाइब्रेरी मा इट इज ग्रोन इन वेस्ट अफ्रीका ओनली नेक्स्ट यू सी कैरेक्टर ऑफ डिफरेंट दिस ओराइजा साटाइवा लीव्स इन केस ऑफ इंडिका ब्रॉड टू नेरो जापानिका नेरो ग्रीन एंड योर जापानिका ब्रॉड वेरी स्ट्रीप एंड लाइट ग्रीन ग्रीन क्वालिटी इन केस ऑफ इंडिका दैट इज लॉन्ग टू शॉर्ट स्लेंडर हियर इट इज राउंड इज जापानिका ओके इन केस ऑफ जापानिका लॉन्ग ब्रॉड एंड वेरी थिक ग्रेन्स टिलरिंग हियर प्रोफ्यूज टिलरिंग हियर मीडियम टिलरिंग इन केस ऑफ जापानिका लो टिलरिंग हाइट This is tall one. This is short one. This is also tall one. These two are same. Okay. Then on mostly onless in case of Indica. In case of Japanica, both on and onless will be there. In case of Japanica, so many. Actually, so many ons will be there, and some are onless also. Okay. Number of year and year weight. Okay. In case of Indica, many and light. In case of Japanica, also many year and heavy weight. In case of Japanica, few but heavy weight will be there. Next you see hairs on leaves and blooms. It is present on indica, and Japanica present and dense. Okay, but in Japanica present but very long. Plant tissue in case of indica soft, Japanica hard, and Japanica that is very hard. Okay, these two very hard. Sensitivity here varying, here non to low, and here sensitivity is very low. Flag leaf stage you see here uh, indica is narrow and long. In case of Japanica, narrow and short. In case of Japanica, that is your broad and long. Varieties from you see uh, varieties developed from in case of Indica, India, Southern China, Taiwan, Ceylon, Java and other region. In case of Japanica, Japan, Korea, North China. In case of Japanica, that is your small number of varieties from Indonesia only. So you see here's few doubts you may have arise uh, may be arising in your mind. If you have any doubt, you may ask in the comment box, so that we will make a separate video for this. I hope this video will be helpful for you, informative for you. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. अच्छा सुनो, subscribe करते वक्त ना घंटी बजा देना, ताकि जब मैं online आऊँ, तो तुम्हारे phone की भी घंटी बजे.